seem to be getting from bad to worse. You mean Mrs. Berlin Chiu losing her hair? That's only the tip of the ice chain doll. She is now super stressed. She has to find proof that she is related to fate and find a way to make her children come back for reunion dinner. Yes, and find another handsome Baba for fate. Preferably one who prefers Nyonyas. Haiku semangat! What is the world coming to? Yeah. Even the year of the pig will not help. It's betul juga nya. No wonder yeah. she's so stressed, yeah. huh? Yeah. 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 I was following Pauline. Where's she going? How should I know? I would have found out if you didn't call me. Maybe she's going to see a private detective. What? Buy me kopi and I tell you the story. Come. So Pauline is unhappy. Of course, if your children don't come back for reunion dinner, might as well be the end of the world. Well, the good news is. Laurel Lily is coming to town. Lori Lai? How come? At first she said she's not coming. Change your mind. Said something about Pearlene's Kue Blanda. What's wrong with it? We made it ourselves. <laughs> Buy me kopi, I will tell you the story. Come. You remember when Pauline and Laurel I met? How can I forget? She was a holistic auntie. She came for a visit. And the two women became such good friends. Two typical Nyonyas. One from Penang, one from Singapore. I remember. Laurel I said in Penang, love letters are called kueh kape and folded into triangular shape. And sometimes filled with coconut. That's why we sent her a kueh blanda to make her taste the difference. And she received Berlin Square Blanda the same day her children call her in Penang. Your new is very upset. Surely you can. I know it's very exciting being part of the Phuket Pranakans. I know it's something very new, but okay, okay. You try your best. At least try to be back on the first day. Don't say maybe. Say yes. So die, you young people. And I think she thinks that since the children are not coming back for a reunion dinner, she must turn up and represent the Penang branch of the family. But there's no branch in Penang. Ah, nearly. When Brian marries the Holy Stick. True, Lori Lai is nearly family. That will cheer up you definitely. One week before Chinese New Year, when everyone looks like this. Mm. That's bad. And that poor young Nyonya, she does nothing but sleep. Oh, she is heartbroken. And you, she just walk round and round. Another heartbroken person. Heartbroken and worried, losing more and more hair. If she is not careful, very soon she will be bored up. Is that the reason why she's going to see a private detective? Of course she has. She has to prove that fate and her are related. She has to save her honor and reputation. You know. I have an idea. So many wrongs cannot make a right. First, we have to start finding a Mr. Right. Papa. First, you must help the young Nyonya. Cheer up. Find her somebody new. This is the easiest way to distract her. So that she need not prove the relationship. Exactly. And I will help you find a nice, dashing young man for fate. One who likes Nyonya. Of course. Look. Here. I have my little black book here. This is an old list of all the grandmothers I know. I'm sure someone must have an eligible grandson. But this one passed away two years ago. Oh yeah.
Just a pantoon. Stop! You should care about your likes. They are possessed. They dance to the pantoons. They are not possessed. It's sound. I forget it. Forget it, it goes on and off. Must be fixed. For Chinese New Year, all lights must work and must be on all night. I don't want any lights. You are behaving like a real pig, you know. Papa? People born in the year of the pig retract when they are hurt. Because they're not vengeful, even if others have done them wrong. They love food. They are loyal and honest. They are happy and lucky. I feel miserable. Because you lost your heart to a snake. Don't worry. In a few days, it will be the year of the pig. Your year and my year. Only good things will happen. Let me tell you a story of the zodiac. The story goes that once there was a great race amongst the animals. The first twelve animals to reach Buddha would have a year named after it. The rat came first because it was hitchhiking on the ox's back and leapt off at the finishing line. The pig, being honest and in no hurry, was taking its time. It finished last, but never mind, still got a year named after it. Most important thing is that the pigs are lucky. But not lucky in love. Of course they are lucky in love. But you didn't find your true love, did you? I'm still looking, but you know, even with the pig category, there are different types. There's metal pig, water pig, earth pig, fire pig, a bit like our nyonya food. We have babi pangang, babi hong, babi pongte, ati babi pungkus. Each dish has a different character, each a must-have for the reunion tok panjang. Bibi Infomercial Welcome to Bibi Infomercial. Traditionally, before we begin the reunion dinner, we must do a semayang. Offering to the ancestors, we always have roast pork, chicken and duck. These are called the three somethings. The three gangsters. No nya joke. Usually we buy this because roasting is a Cantonese specialty. Like their soups. But we have a few excellent soups, like the Itik team. Now, that is a must-have on the reunion table. Unlike other dishes, itik team is not made a day ahead. It is made on the day itself. In the old days, we had to buy a live duck, treat it with tender loving care. And then, on the eve of the Chinese New Year, we had to slaughter it. Nowadays, with gadgets like these, no more slaughter. Just log in, order your duck and see, ready slaughtered. And ready for itik team, a must-have soup at reunion dinner. You see, my fate in love was sealed because of what I did on Chap Go Me. Apa? Chap Go Me, the 15th and last day of Chinese New Year. Some people call it Valentine's Day. I thought Nonya girls don't have boyfriends. They don't. They don't even go out except on Chap Go Me. The only time in the year us Nonya get to go out. We throw oranges into the sea and pray for a good match. The only time in the year. We get to go out. So what happened to you and your chap go mai then? I was driven to the beach. I think it was Marine Parade because Changi was too far. The trip was long. Cut on to Marine Parade? How long could that take? You don't understand. The tradition say we must cross seven bridges. Since there are no bridges between Katong and Marine Parade, we had to make very big detours. Cars did not have air conditioning at that time. It was long and hot. So, after eating all the cookies, I was thirsty. And I took an orange, and another, and another. By the time I got to the beach, no more oranges. So I threw out the peel, and I got spanked. That was the end of my romance. But surely that's just an old wives' tale. Not all Pranak can do that anyway, so I didn't really believe in that at first. But then something happened. Something really happened. Since I wasn't a treasured Nunya princess, my uncle allowed me to go to the beach. I was not very happy. I was miserable. No father, no mother, no one in the world only had one orange, and I threw it with all my anger.
That was Baba William? That was Baba William. But you never married him? Yes, for some men it's better not to marry. Better not to marry at all, I think. Nonsense. Pigs make good marriage partners. Yeah, right. Of course, right. And we start by ending all kinds of bad things. Mm. This will end all your sorrow. Mm. Oh, mm. Don't worry. This is Nyonya makeover. It won't hurt. Ow!